having searched for this terrible dragon a thousand weeks or more, saving hundreds of maidens in distress from distress, having killed platoons of knights in chivalrous combat, I found a trail and tracks of this brimstone swigging dragon. This dreadful sky towering monster. But this trail went through strange and fearsome woods, and I must need whop the heads off seven giants at one sweep. Maybe. Then I fought a pitched frightening battle with 18 lesser dragons, slaying <laughs> them all. It's funny, I somehow never thought of King Arthur as being a duck. Then, after my coffee break, Barbecue Dragon makes a mighty tasty dish, Your Majesty. Finally, Your Majesty, I trace this terrible dragon to his wear. Where? I didn't even know I had a wear. Do you perchance mean a burrow? A, a hole in the ground? How about just for laughs, we draw and quarter him first? <laughs> Whatever turns you on. Draw and quarter the varmint! How do you like those apples, Dragon? You're gonna be drawn and quartered. <laughs> drawn? Drawn? Oh, you mean drawn, like an animated cartoon is drawn. Well, naturally, I know all about that. I've been in the business for years, and I won't even be born until 1940. As for quarters, uh, well, any old place. Nice view, private bath. Will you shut up, you loudmouth dragon? Oh, uh, as to that, uh, well, well, I can shut up all right. Uh, anytime anybody asks me to shut up, I always shut up. Shutting up is one of my virtues. I'm considered very shutty-uppy in my crowd. Shut up, shutting up! Now you've hurt my feelings. Other dragons get to shut up. I never get to do anything. <laughs> well, gosh, Harmon, I, I didn't mean to make you cry. After all, uh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Why, you... Take him out and roast him at the stake! Steak? Roast? Me? Roast me at the stake? That stings. He wouldn't dare. He'd dare.